Hey guys, this is Steph. She's our tour director with EF, and she's great. She's great and wonderful so far. And I just wanted to tell y'all a little bit about herself, where she's lived. Hi everyone. Uh, so my name is Steph. I'm a tour director with EF. We're going through this Italy and Greece tour. Going to Rome, going to Florence, Assisi, and then going to Athens to see all the major sites there. Um, I am Greek, so I'll be showing the group around my home city of Athens. Um, I have also lived in Rome, in Milan, and in Florence. So growing up, I moved around a lot. And the reason I do have an American accent is for seven years, eight years, I lived in Jersey. <laughs> so I'm connecting here with the group. Yeah. I know about life in the States, and I know about life in Europe. So I'm a bit of a combination of both. So I hope the group is going to have a lovely time on this tour. We and are. We're eat our hearts out. <laughs> eat all the Mediterranean cuisine. Pizzas, pastas, tomatoes, cheeses, meats, everything. Wonderful. Thank you. And are we driving through? Where are we driving through right now? Right Plus, now we're in the state of Umbria. So we started off in Rome, which is in the state of Lazio, and then driving up north to Florence slowly, slowly, and going through the states of Umbria and getting to Tuscany and maybe trying some of that Tuscan wine. Yay! Wonderful. Thank, Thank you so much, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Christmas atmosphere. It's nice. Are you spending the night? No. no. You're leaving. Where are you going next? Greece. 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 Chris. Chris. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't believe what I was hearing. Oh, wow. So you live in Italy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never been to Greece. Oh. Take me with well, you. Come on. I would love to go there so much. It's a beautiful place. Well, come on. Greece? Come on. Yeah. We have an extra ticket. <laughs> yeah. You have. I do. But you and the boy. So I was telling you about my little life, living in Foligno, born, raised, living there, boring life. Uh, I have two sons. Maybe these young boys, eight or girls, ages, 23, 19, Leonardo and Michelangelo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but I'm of very course. sad in this period because Leonardo, the 23 year old boy, has been with his girlfriend for three years and has kicked out Mama. Oh. Oh. You know what he told me three days ago? Please don't hug me. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so let's la let's smile. <laughs> it's hard. Okay. Yes. Anyway, this is a crazy, my special place in Umbria. Before I heard her I start and tell you something about Francis. Maybe you know that Francis was a very rich guy. His father was a wealthy, powerful bourgeois cloth merchant. That's why Francis could uh, afford the best it's social illegal. escalation at the time in the Middle Ages. He joined the army. In fact, you were he thinking became ahead. A soldier, a military knight. He also participated in a few battles, little wars. And when he was taken prisoner in Perugia, which is up in the north of the region, the capital city in Umbria, after a long period as a prisoner there, he had his conversion, which means that he had a difficult time. He started to dedicate himself to uh, meditation, contemplation, he had visions, uh, hallucinations, uh, prayers, he felt deeply unhappy, unsatisfied, when he realized that he had to make a different choice. So he gave up his father's wealth, heritage, money. He gave up his military career and decided to become a poor among the poor. <laughs> so he made his choice of poverty, humility and simplicity. As you can imagine, his father did not like that. <laughs> he was upset, deeply frustrated. So Francis was uh, rejected, refused by his father. 
he decided to leave Assisi and moved and settled down the valley. Maybe while driving up here, you saw the big basilica, the giant church with the dome on top. Mm -hmm. It's another famous Franciscan basilica, Santa Maria degli Angeli, Saints Mary of the Angels, where underneath there still is the tiny little Porziuncola, which is the small church where Francis settled with his brothers in the woods, in the forest, marshes. That's the special Franciscan site because it's down there at the Porziuncola that he had his visions of the Virgin Mary and the angels. It's there he had many miracles, among which the miracle of the roses. It's down there that he died. So, according to the devotional point of view among the Franciscan sites, it's the special one. Francis spent his spiritual adventure down there where he died at the age of 44 in 1226. Yeah, very young. <coughs> so, consider the fact that there's never, never seen such a huge, pretentious, beautiful, wow, basilica. And for sure, he would not agree because he was looking for poverty, humility, and simplicity. This is nothing, you know, this is amazing. You will see.
started to cry in the real baby. So the miracle made an to the Middle uh, Ages, medieval times. If you like to walk a, a little bit more from the piazza, keep walking straight along the Corso, Corso Mazzini, the main street, shops, coffee shops, restaurants, everything there. Just one more stroll along the Corso and you will be in front of the Basilica of Santa Chiara. <laughs> that is an activity scene right there. What? Everybody was telling me to thank you. Oh, yes. Right there. I would like to meet at 3.30. Yes. Pretty much, you can either Google St. Francis Basilica or bring it right here. Or you can go right now. That's so perfect. Okay. Come here. Isn't this beautiful out there, baby? Yeah, it's so pretty. Is that not sweet? I love that. It's a beautiful little town. Assisi. That's, these people are in a whole lot better shape than we are. Well, you see why? They have, they have to walk <laughs> Yes, climbing hills. I'm starting to see why they eat bread every day. <laughs> Amen. My smartwatch thinks I've made a New Year's resolution. And I I'm... know. It's going to be so disappointing. It I'm is. <laughs> <laughs> that is so beautiful. Just a little nook in the town where you can go look out. Mm -hmm. oh, neat. Nifty. How sweet. What a sweet Isn't nativity. Sweet? I like There's nativities all in this town. All in it. Because Francis Francis came up with the nativity and helped design it in the mm -hmm. when was it? 12 something? Yeah. 12 something. <laughs> Right. Oh, 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 my goodness. He is staying by his mask. You don't have any, um, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna dig, I'm gonna dig some out. Yeah, I'll get changed. That's that is, I love it. Not much. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. 
Man, I thought he was a statue. That is amazing. The puppy gave it away. Puppy's the only thing you. <laughs> Can see how skinny these streets are. Oh, look at that little nook. Hey, how sweet. Oh, I do. Kitty, kitty. Uh, oh my goodness, that's a pretty copper stack. That is pretty. This, I like that back home costume. This town is oh, extraordinary. We are walking to the square. Oh, there's a purple shot. That's me. That's you. Oh my gosh. The whole shop is purple. Right? Car coming. A Jeep? A, a little Fiat. I wish I'd have gotten that deep turquoise Fiat with the soft top. It was sweet. Two more. Two more coming. Oh. Another Mercedes Fiat. And Mercedes is struggling. I guess to go that slow on that hill. Look at that. The purple shop. That is amazing. Yeah. I mean, this is a climb. It is a climb. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah. Probably. There are nativities everywhere. Oh, look at the meringue cookies. Ugh. Sweet cookies. Pinocchio. <laughs> Wait, that's a gorgeous view. Yeah. That one's pretty too, Pam. Yeah. I loved it. I love Pinocchio, the wooden one. Okay. Can we stop now? Are we going to come back down this way? Yes, we're coming back down. I say, yeah. I think that's how she put it. She said it's real simple, straight up. Yeah, but I thought I remember saying if you go across the square and go another way. Well, we'll certainly. Let's go back in there just in case. You want to go a little further if you went across the square, but that, that was all. Yeah. You don't have oh. to. Yeah. Okay. We'll definitely. I'll come back down here with you. Okay. Oh, I'm coming back this way. Yeah, because. <laughs> yeah, this will take you right back when we get on the bus. Yeah, by the yeah, time you much. eat, you're not going to have time to go much further. Right, yeah. and just come back down this way and restock by what? Oh, I know. Okay, guys. Trying to show y'all the beauty of stuff. There's a pizzeria there. Okay. I'll just. I'm going to walk this way. I want to. He wants to walk up there. I want to take a picture up there. Look at that Roman temple, would you? That's. Oh, wow. All right. We have had a wonderful lunch up in the piazza. And now we're headed down back to our meeting place. Oh, no. COVID Kathy Jr. here. That's it. Those meringues. They look so delicious, don't they? They really do. Ah, I love them. Mona Lisa. <laughs> you see all those meringues, baby? Aren't they beautiful? They are. Mm -hmm. Gelato. 
That looks like a real nice ornament shop. Maybe, maybe he went in there. We've got a large group coming up the hill. Oh my gosh. That's, That's pretty. That's a gorgeous. Sad. Gelato. Architecture. Look at this view, everyone. This is what most of Tuscany and Umbria looks like. The regions of Tuscany and Umbria. I could move here. We would have the farm outside the city. <laughs> so we could just zip up to the city, baby. You guys saw a few different cities. Very, very different from each other. Rome, Florence, and Assisi. Assisi something very special. Something where someone that's not used to big cities would be most accustomed to, so. Yes. Who would move to Rome? Me. Who would move to Florence? Me. What about Assisi? Me. Me. There you go, I thought so. <laughs>